Hello Libra, welcome to your December 2018 reading. Thank you for joining me. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's take a quick look at your oracle cards. From the shapeshifters you've brought a, a loyal guardian, a magical protector. So with this one, how I feel with this, it, it can go one of two ways. Either it's you being a, a loyal protector, a supporter, you have someone else's back, or there is someone who is supportive of you. The energy around this is of being a, a, a dear friend, someone who, I'm getting an energy around this of a lifelong friendship. Someone who is there for you, who shows you solidarity with whatever you're going through. You know, there is a card in the Oracle of Mystical Moments that is similar to this, and it's called The Journey. And it has a, a similar scene, a, a woman riding a deer. But it, that one is, uh, the woman is substantially younger, and so is the deer. So with this one, the, the message behind it is that the woman and deer are older. Time has passed. The two are still companions. They have seen many seasons together, many sunny joys and cold sorrows. Their wisdom has grown like the graceful atlas, the woman that holds for comfort. The deer supports her and she returns a loving touch to her dear friend. So it is about lifelong companionship, loyalty. From the Osho Zen, you've pulled the card of existence. Now this is relative to the Magician card in traditional tarot. The energy around this really does speak of knowing that home is not a physical place, but an inner quality. It's about relaxation, acceptance. You'll see the figure here sits on the lotus leaf of perfection gazing around her the stars so with this one it is an energy of feeling connected and i also feel with this one it's about looking at whether you're allowing yourself to receive a gift of feeling at home wherever you are if you do uh, be sure to take time to savor that feeling so that it can deepen and remain with you but if on the other hand, you've been feeling like the world is perhaps out to get you, it's time to take a break. Go outside and look at the stars. Now with existence, of course, it's about existence needing you, the universe needing you. Without you, something will be missing in existence and nobody can replace it. That's what gives you dignity, that the whole existence will miss you. The stars, the sun, the moon, nature, everything, everything in the universe will feel a small place is vacant which cannot be filled by anybody except you. So Libra, it's about recognition of this energy and that recognition giving you a, a tremendous joy, a fulfillment that you're related to existence and that existence cares for you. It's about recognizing that our sense of separateness in the world is just an illusion. So it, with this very much an energy here of feeling at home with yourself, that inner quality of acceptance, relaxation and peace. And I feel that around this is it has to do with loyalty, companionship, lifelong friendship, you having someone's back or someone having your back. So lots of nice energy here for the reading. Before I get started, I just wanted to quickly mention that I have my 2019 year ahead forecasts up. So if you're interested, please uh, check out the rest of my channel for those. And I also wanted to uh, to let you know that I'm doing personal 2019 year ahead forecasts as well. And those are the, the 12 month uh, readings that I do where I take out several cards and go month by month throughout the year. Now for your reading this month I'm going to be using the, the cat tarot for your energy. And for the energy of the person that you are focused on here 
Libra. I'm, I'm using the steampunk tarot. So uh, let's get started. And uh, first I want to look at what you have brought to this situation in the past. The High Priestess. Okay. Well, Libra, I feel whatever action that was taken, how you're feeling about it, it was done instinctually. For you, it's about something that you had. You followed your instincts. You, you trusted your instincts. And with the Page of Cups there, you, you trusted your instincts when it came to to love, to new love. There's an innocence about the Page of Cups with the, in, in your case, Libra. I feel like you went into this with, with good intentions. Very much feeling like you were doing the, the right thing. Now, there is a little bit of naivety here as well with the Page of Cups. So it may have been a little bit of naivety when you went into this situation. Let's take a look at the other person's energy and uh, and what they've brought to this situation in the past here. Uh, Libra, let's take a look. We have the, the Justice card. So it may have been a, a, a marriage. This person may have offered a, a legal commitment or something like a marriage. And with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, I, I do feel like there was uh, stability, strength, something that was meant to go the, the distance to the end. Till you grow old, growing old together in a commitment, committed together here, uh, family or a partnership. But in any case, growing this relationship to a, a stable place where I feel that this person saw it as something to take to the end, to old age, to retirement. Now let's see where um, where you stand currently here, Libra. The Knight of Pentacles. So putting in the work, doing all of the uh, the necessary work here to make this uh, relationship succeed. For you, there's an element of trustworthiness. I feel that it may be you, is what I'm picking up. Who is the uh, the loyal person here? with this Knight of Pentacles. It speaks of loyalty, being trustworthy, putting in the hard work. It, it's a, a slow moving energy, but it, it's it's someone who can be relied upon to, to get there in the end and not to stray from the course. It's a very loyal energy in your case. But with the Seven of Wands there, Libra, what I get, for you, is there, an, is, is there an element of surrender around this? Is there something that you're waving the white flag on? I'm wondering what this could be because I get an element of... It may be for some of you a need to stand your ground, but you're feeling like you're in a weakened position somehow for whatever reason, but, but I pick it up as, as some kind of weakened position. doesn't mean you're weak by, by any stretch of the imagina imagination. I just feel like this, the circumstances around you have made you feel like you're making a, a sacrifice in some way or that you are not standing up for, for your own beliefs in this, in this relationship. Now, when it comes to the other person and where they currently stand, now they have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You have it in the upright, which tells me you are the one who is trustworthy, loyal. And this other person, however, may be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. Around them is an element of mistrust, Someone who is a bit lazy, not really putting in the work. 
also I'm, I'm picking up around this a lack of common sense so let's see what this is uh, the devil yeah well that makes sense I feel that there's an element around this person of addiction perhaps some hedonism here hedonistic behavior toxic behavior an obsessional quality something that they, is filling their time filling their head something that they're obsessed by here it's an unhealthy obsession it seems to be you know the thing with the devil in this case is what i get is that it's taking up a lot of this person's time energy whatever this devil is and it'll be different for everyone but i feel for most of you it is about toxic attachments addictive quality obsessional lust hedonism too much and and it's a very a very lazy quality around this as well mm. not great but what i pick up in the past is this person seemed to be stable seemed to be a stable partner and then what's happened here libra because i, I feel like i don't know is this their shadow side possibly let's see where you hope to stand with this in the future here libra strength well yeah you're definitely the one that's showing the compassion you know you see this uh this cat here he's uh he has his paw on this little dog he's showing this dog compassion and what i get with this it's that old fable of the the mouse and the lion the the lion has the thorn in his paw and the mouse pulls it out thereby helping him so i feel an energy around you of helping this person through some dark times dealing with their this i pick it up as a shadow side of this person addictive quality but you're helping them get at the root of this to pull it out i feel some kind of base instinct that you're helping them with you're helping them be a stronger person to recognize what what their, their shadow side is and how to how to best control it or not have it rule their life or be destructive in their life let's get another card yeah the two of cups it's a soul connection it's a very strong soul connection between you and this person and i feel that you you want this to continue you want things to get back to a harmonious place to enjoy each other again just the two of you here but you're showing enormous amounts of strength while i feel a partner is going through a tough time here dealing with their their shadow side let's see where this uh, this other person hope to stand the high priestess okay so they're listening to their own inner wisdom their own inner compass that may be pointing them in the right direction so i feel like they they want to, to be able to listen to their their instincts their gut feeling higher logic as well <clears throat> yeah with judgment there i do feel there's an element of karmic energy around this learning karmic lessons but learning those lessons and then being able to drop toxic attachments toxic behavior so that they don't bring that with them to the next phase of their life so i feel like this person wants to operate on this higher level here libra but there, there seems to be 
something here that they're preoccupied by and it'll be different for every one of you but I pick it up as addiction obsession some kind of toxic behavior or attachment but I feel like they they want to they want to learn they want to learn the karmic lesson and move forward leave what hasn't worked for them behind and move on in order to make good judgments to make the right call so they seem to be hearing this this higher call here that heeding a call to do some work on themselves <coughs> hmm let's see how you're viewing this person here Libra the Queen of Cups okay well here again is a card of compassion you're, you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups so I feel this is how you feel about this person you're showing them uh, there's a lot of love here there's a soul connection you feel deeply bonded with this person you care for them very much Libra and you want them to overcome what they are going through so you're showing them the support you're you're highly empathic as well I feel Libra when I see that Queen of Cups I, I feel that you're showing this person a lot of empathy so we also have the nine of wands in reverse <clears throat> so how you're feeling about this person you're trying to get them over something that has caused them a lot of pain uh, you know you see this cat here he has a bandaged head he's been through quite the cat fight so it seems like this person's fighting some kind of shadow side here some kind of inner demon and you're here helping this person through this trying to help them through help them overcome this they may be someone here who is showing signs of weakness or giving up in some way and when it comes to how they're viewing you here Libra we have the Sun in reverse so they see that your happiness is being delayed I picked this up as a setback a setback and with the magician okay well the magician speaks to me with this card of existence they're both the number one cards so Libra this person is viewing you as someone who can who is very confident and and you you're someone who has a lot of self-worth you believe in yourself you can create the kind of life that you want it may be that this person views you as someone who doesn't need them they may also see that your happiness is being delayed because of what has been going on with this person and with this card of existence you know it's an interesting card because it's about being able to create a sense of feeling at home wherever you are and I feel that that you're able to do that Libra that's that's one of your strengths this person however seems to be a little bit lost now doubts and fears for you Libra the world completion so I feel like you're, you're doubting that there will be a, a successful completion a, an end to a cycle and with the ten of swords you, you're doubting that and you're also fearing an ending you're fearing that this is going to come to an end and as a 10 it is about completion so you you are fearing the end of this relationship and that this will be it that there will be no that this will not come back around again that there's an air of finality 
to this. Now, for the other person, <coughs> what are their doubts and fears? Seven of Pentacles, okay. So with them, what is it that they're fearing? It seems that they're fearing putting in putting in work, putting in energy and effort into something that, that they may doubt that they have the patience here to wait for a payoff. Because I, I do feel like they are wanting to operate on a higher level. Uh, get away from this kind of lower vibrational energy of the devil and, and move on because I do feel that they're hearing a call here to 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 operate on, on a, a higher level and get rid of, of what isn't working for them. But it may not be happening as quickly as they hoped. So they may be fearing that it's not going to happen because they're not seeing the results straight away or immediately. And with the Six of Pentacles, it's about getting their balance back. Equality. It's also a card of support. So it, they may be... fearing that this is not going to pay off. Hmm. Okay, well let's take a look and see what the challenge is for you, for Libra. The Four of Pentacles, okay. So what is it that you're holding on to here? I, I do feel there's an energy around you of maintaining, maintaining this relationship. And with the, uh, the Page of Wands, One thing I'm picking up with this is that a challenge may be to get the enthusiasm back in this relationship, the will to maintain this relationship. It may be, it may be that you, you've suffered a, it, it may be going on for some time here, Libra, for some of you, this trying to help this person get over this shadow side but it's it may be affecting your health in some way and and it may have i, I do get a, a loss of vitality a loss of enthusiasm so you, your challenge seems to be about being able to to get this playfulness back enthusiasm to maintain the relationship let's take a look at the um uh, challenge for the other person they have the empress in reverse and the king of pentacles okay now this person libra they may be an earth sign and i did pick up earth energy before a taurus virgo or capricorn or someone with earth in their chart or just an energy of a husband because i often see the king of pentacles as someone who is a, a stable secure that kind of rock someone who is a family man successful trustworthy so i feel around this person this this husband energy their challenge is not to be tempted by someone else i feel this empress in reverse they may be being tempted by a third party this may be the the hedonism that i picked up earlier with that knight of pentacles in reverse and the devil energy is someone that they have an unhealthy attraction to uh, obsessional quality now let's take a quick peek here at the potential outcome and then we'll move into part two of this reading which will be on my vimeo channel uh, if this is resonating please uh, continue with part two the extended version the link will be in the descriptions box below Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now this is your energy as an air sign, but I actually th don't think that it's you, Libra. And the reason why I say that is because I feel 
that you are the one that has the the strength you're the one here who is coming across as the queen of cups in the upright you're the one who i feel is is the stronger one the the loyal one in this relationship the one that can be counted on to to take this to to the end for the for the long haul and i feel that this air energy is somebody else somebody who is not acting for their highest good there may be uh, lying uh, some vindictiveness here it's someone who may have been disappointed in love in the past but i feel that they're acting out in a way it seems to be quite bitter i pick up vindictiveness and with the eight of pentacles it seems like this person may be in a work environment for some of you or it could could potentially be that this person is showing dedication to a task okay that makes sense the five of wands <clears throat> whoever this person is and this may be this this empress in reverse person that i'm picking up here possibly an air sign or someone who is just acting like the queen of swords in reverse very uh, emotionally immature person not a lot of intellect not a lot of understanding around them it, it, it's uh, not not a very nice person that they can be quite cruel as well i feel like this person is causing conflict with the five of wands here in your life and and in the life of uh, your relationship here hmm let's let's get the outcome for the other person the six of swords in reverse yeah it seems like this this person has some um, something that they're trying to move away from but they haven't been able to to leave it behind some kind of troubling energy some baggage here that needs to be left in the past three of swords we have uh, heartbreak the ability to cause pain and the ace of pentacles in reverse a missed opportunity when it comes to stability hmm libra we'll have to see where this goes in part two i'm going to be pulling out a lot more cards and we'll see i'm hoping that this person gets their stuff together here and isn't tempted by by this third party but it's not looking good and of course it, it this is a general reading it won't be for everyone so i want to remind you about that not everyone's relationship here not every libran is involved with a third party but for the people that i'm trying to reach out to here for this reading it seems like someone's being tempted away from something that has stability <sighs> libra so let's see where this goes in part two again the link is below in the descriptions box so i hope that you join me there and that will be on my vimeo channel and uh, if i don't see you there libra then i wish you all the very best with this if you would like a personal reading or a, a personal year ahead forecast which are my 12 month month by month forecasts, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com for further information i wish you all the best i thank you so much for all of your support throughout my first year here on youtube and i hope that you continue to join me next year uh, lots more to uh, to discover and we're on this journey together so i hope to meet many of you as well through the personal readings so wishing you the best libra and bye for now